Hello everyone and welcome to English Acquiring and today uh, we are going to study uh, training topic. Okay, yes, we are going to discuss on training. Okay, and uh, I prefer uh, to have this lesson, to make this video outdoors, yes, in uh, open air. So I hope it will be better, yes. As you know, training as well uh, is very important and vital for us. It is uh, important, it is an important aspect of each of us, like learning or how to learn or learning styles, uh, med uh, education, Okay, yes, now training. Let's focus on training. Okay, uh, dialogue one. Training means, or it may mean, yes, may mean taking uh, our skills under control. But how? Can we think of training without discipline, freedom, and practice? Of course, we cannot think of training uh, without discipline, uh, without freedom, and without practice. In fact, uh, we cannot uh, just uh, think of discipline while controlling our skills. What else do we need? Of course, we also need freedom in this process. Okay. With our free will. Okay, again, uh, I asked uh, ChatGBT uh, to help me write a dialogue about training uh, of course, again, a controlled, a controlled uh, dialogue with seven words, also by using the following words that I gave chat GBT. Okay. Now, uh, this is the dialogue of uh, chat GBT between Alex and Betty. Okay. Alex starts like this. Training is such an essential part of life. Don't you think? Yes, I think so too, for example. Betty, absolutely. It's about taking our skills and abilities under control with freedom. Yes, with strategies, with methods and techniques, with love. Yes. And A. And it's crucial to remember that it should be done with joyfulness, revitalizing universal values. Right. You are right, or that's right. No pressing or pushing, only inviting and attracting in training are what count, what matter. True ideas constitute, make up, form, True ideas constitute beautiful feelings, helping us, helping us get rid of false things and gain the real things. And it's important that it doesn't inflate ego or undermine an individual. Living means recognizing and being recognized. Living means training the right way. Don't you agree? Yes, I agree absolutely agree with you okay it is not just uh, recognizing something but uh, there is also this, the state of a human being that we should uh, we also want to be recognized to be witnessed yes we witness something we observe something but we also want to be observed to be witnessed Okay, no pressing. Yes, there is no pressing in uh, training. There is no pressing, no pushing. 
yeah, but only there is only inviting and attracting in training. What is the difference between obeying the rules and being trapped in the rules? Yeah, obeying uh, the rules is approval, as you know, but uh, being trapped in rules is not approval. It's uh, kind of, uh, it's kind of being obsessed with rules. Of course, unfortunately, if we are obsessed uh, with something, there is no uh, recognition, there is no uh, awareness. There is an uh, automation, automation, okay. Okay, uh, let me read the image first. Emotions are contagious. What are you spreading? Yes, be careful about what you are spreading. For example, I am spreading now uh, English questions, English sentences, okay. Feelings are contagious, means catching, transmittable, communicable. Yes, communicable. Uh, comes from communication, yeah, communicable. Okay, 3A, when you are in a cheerful mood, as positivity is contagious, you brighten, you light up, you split up the person you are speaking to. But what might occur if you are feeling gloomy? Yes, in this case, just the opposite, unfortunately, just the opposite happens. Okay. Now again, let's ask, yes, it is better to ask that the same question to ChatGBT and see uh, the result. Will you answer this question as if you are B in this dialogue? Yes, shall we see the question again? But what might occur if you are feeling gloomy? Not cheerful, but gloomy. Well, in this case, it can have the opposite effect. The opposite effect. My negative emotions can spread, making the conversation less enjoyable and potentially bringing down the other person's mood as well. It's important to be mindful, to be aware of our emotional states when interacting with others. Yes, I again certainly agree with chat GBT. Okay, the four states of man, the four states of a human being, or the four states of us. Let's see what they are. The physical state is the first one. Okay, the physical state of us is an important as, as the mental state. Of course, it is important and it is as important as the mental state. Isn't the emotional state as important as the ethical state? Of course, emotional state is also as important as the mental state and the ethical state. What is the order of importance of the four states? Yes, if we, uh, if we want to prioritize them, then I put, uh, I put the ethical state at the top, of course. Maybe they are the, those all three states are for uh, ethical state to to reach ethical state. Okay. True ideas foster, cherish beautiful feelings. What do beautiful feelings cherish? Of course, it is certain that they cherish beautiful and good behaviors. Yes, emotions, thoughts first, and then emotions, and then behaviors. It's obvious, it's clear that we are in need of air, water, and food. What else are we in need? Of course, there is no doubt that we are also in need of true knowledge. We are also in need of safety, beauty, uh, ways, methods, strategies, techniques, honesty, peace, and many, many beautiful human good qualities. We are in need of all scientific 
artistic and ethical uh, principles. Yeah. Okay. We have innumerable needs and fears, unfortunately. It is said that there are five motives that motivate us to be something, to do something, or to have something. For example, fear. By means of fear, we are motivated. Hope, benefit, pride, and love. Fear motivates, motivates us to be careful and conservative. It means that if we were not, uh, if we were not afraid of something, if we didn't fear something, it means that we wouldn't, we wouldn't, uh, we wouldn't be careful. We wouldn't take action. We wouldn't be conservative. Yes. Okay. How does hope motivates us? Of course, hope motivates us uh, positively. Uh, yes, hope, mot hope motivates us to have, to learn beautiful, true, right uh, things. Now, in, of course, intrinsic motivation is preferred to extrinsic motivation. Both of them are true. Yes, sometimes we are motivated, by, motivated uh, extrinsically, but sometimes we are motivated by intrinsically. If you inflate something like a balloon, you fill it with gas. So it becomes larger because of the gas inside. What happens if you deflate something? Of course, it becomes smaller. Okay. Inflation versus deflation. Yes, deflation uh, makes it smaller and uh, causes, uh, cau uh, causes the gas to go out. Okay. If you inflate a person, you make them feel more important, like an, uh, like an inflated balloon. They think that they are larger, they are bigger than you. You make them feel more important, more impressive, and more confident. What happens if you deflate a person? So, of course, the opposite opposite happens. Yes, we can ask this question to ChatGPT as well. I really advise you to ask uh, the question, but of course, with the uh, in the flow of the dialogue. Okay, by uh, by copying the full dialogue and then ask the uh, ask him to answer the question. I I am sure it will give excellent answer. An excellent answer. Yes, inflated ego cannot make reasonable decisions. Yes, because uh, it thinks uh, it, it thinks uh, irrationally. It uh, it the ego thinks it thinks uh, randomly. Yes, as it wants. Okay, it, as it desires, not according to the principles, but according to its desires. Okay, what type of ego can make reasonable decisions? Of course, the normal ego, uh, the positive, uh, the ego uh, which is in the positive state, status. Positive thinking with science, of course, being positive again is uh, does not happen randomly. It requires uh, all information, knowledge of science, knowledge of art, knowledge of law, knowledge of jurisprudence, knowledge of ethics, and knowledge of religion. Yes, uh, when or whenever, wherever, whenever. There are the knowledges of those pure sources, uh, then uh, the ego, our ego, uh, makes positive decisions. Okay, so let me read it first. Positive thinking with science, art, law, jurisprudence, ethics, and religion without contradicting each of them 
the ego includes both positive and negative aspects and the efforts to be free to be free means to be far from its negative side are also taken as the positive side of it okay living yes let's focus on uh, life focus on living okay uh, living may mean interpreting witnessing and being witnessed what else does life mean again if we ask if we asked this question to ChatGPT or to google we can find many many articles articles and ideas about it for example uh, google says with its images life is let me read this one life is all about perspectives yes perspective matters for us life is all about balance this is also true life is all about balance means uh, life may mean balancing may mean balancing harmony in your life there should be harmony in our life so uh, life uh, may also mean life may also mean harmonizing harmonizing our interests okay uh, life is all about choices yeah life is all about preferring choices yes life also means preferring what else does life mean yes life also means training learning uh, life also means harmonizing uh, harmonizing work and leisure harmonizing grammar and practice so and so on so forth the municipality of our town are revitalizing the riverside yes think of think about a situation like this the mun municipality of our town are revitalizing reviving the riverside what do you request them that they should do or they do is also possible to enhance to develop to revitalize the public transportation okay now let's compare uh, i wrote a short paragraph uh, a suggestion to the municipality i wrote a letter of request and then i asked chat gbt uh, to make this paragraph better let's compare them okay this is the uh, letter of mine this is the paragraph of mine okay dear council member kaplan bey i reside in kechören i live i live in kechören i use public transportation i think ankara's public transportation needs to be improved about one third of buses are very old as a result they not only cause air pollution uh, but noise pollution as well the the new buses are comfortable whereas the old ones are not can't they be replaced with new ones the commuters the people who go to work the commuters don't have any complaints about underground trains something has to be done to increase the underground railways sincerely mustafa bayrak now it's uh, chat gbt's turn to uh, to better it to edit to edit my uh, letter paragraph chat gbt will you re will you review and rewrite this short letter uh, better in a better way in 70 words let's see it yes it is like this dear council member kaplan bey i live in kechören and rely on depend on rely on public transportation in ankara i believe that it's crucial to enhance our city public transit system transportation system approximately one third of buses are outdated yeah this is better this is a bad instead of saying old outdated is better causing both air and noise pollution 
replacing these with newer, more comfortable buses should be considered. Commuters are satisfied, are happy with, commuters are satisfied with the underground trains, but expanding the underground railways is necessary. Action is needed to improve Ankara public transportation. Sincerely, Chat GBT. Okay, this is the last uh, slide of our presentation. And see you next time. And stay well.